perimeters and side lengths with variables. In this topic, we, uh, we're going to be working with some perimeters. And we know that the perimeter is always the sum of the distance around a shape. So, for instance, it's a, you know, it's a, if this was a block, if you, city block, this was two, two blocks and this was one, that perimeter would be the distance walked all the way around it. So it would be 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. It's going to be 6 altogether. So here in, in, uh, in a rectangle, it tells us it's a rectangle. We know the opposite sides have the same length. So if this side, left side, is 3y minus 3, then this side is also 3y minus 3. And the top is going to be a 2y. So we know those are true. Using the information we know about perimeters, summing them all up, sum of the lengths of all the sides, it sides, then we get this. And it says that it is 64 units, so it equals 64. So we just take this and we set it equal to 64. So that's kind of a long-ish equation, but it's really not that hard because we have so many like terms. The first step here is to combine like terms. Combine like terms. So we see we have a 3y. We have another 2y. Here's a 3y and another 2y. We add those up, and that's what gives that 10y. Then, of course, looking at the like terms of constants, we have a negative 3 and another negative 3, and that's where the negative 6 comes from. All of a sudden, this is looking much, much easier. Here, of course, we know we have to add 6 to both sides. Just like our, our balance beam we've used before. When we do that, 64 plus 6 makes 70. And then, of course, on this step, we divide by 10. And we get our answer, y equals 7. We've got to make sure we answer the right question. It says find the value of y. We found it, y equals 7. We look at this next example. Then we know the perimeter is equal to 83. Be careful here. It says find the side of find the length of side AC. Well, here's AC. Whoops, no, sorry. Here's AC right here. It's 4y. So we're probably going to end up solving for y, but then we have to multiply it by 4 to give the real answer. So again, the perimeter is adding up the sides. So we just add them up. We've got a 3y plus 2. Then we've got a 4y. Then we've got a y plus 1. We set that equal to 83. Combine those like terms, 3y, 4y, y. That makes 8y. Combining the constants, we have a 2 and a 1. That makes 3. Using our skills, we already know, subtracting, th or, yeah, subtracting 3 from both sides and then dividing by 8, we get y equals 10. But that's not the answer that of the question. The question says find the length of AC, which is 4y. So we have to multiply times 4 to get AC to be 40 as our final answer. So pretty straightforward, just uh, some steps to follow closely. Here's one you can practice. So remember, it says find the length of WX. Here's wx, so whatever we find for, for x in our equation, we have to add 1 to get our final answer. You can pause this video, work through your answer, and then come back and check it. OK, so you should have worked through this way. Adding up three sides, we got a 3x minus 3. We've got a 2x, and we've got an x plus 1. Solving that, we get an x equals 7, but that's not the answer. Remember, wx is x plus 1, so our final answer is 8. Here's another one. This one is a rectangle. 
like the first example I did. So again, work this one out, pause the video, work this one out, and then come back and check your answer. Okay, so here's the answer you should have worked out. Working through, finding, no, recognizing of course that this side is a 2y plus 2 and this side is a 3y. We add all those up, so there's two of each. Combining like terms, we get this. Subtracting 4 from both sides, then dividing 10, we get y equals 9, and that's the answer to the question. So we're all done.